Good morning, artists. Today we're going to start talking about a new art movement called Abstract Expressionism. And Abstract Expressionism is sort of one of the big art movements that came after Surrealism. So Surrealism, the 1920s, and then Abstract Expressionism, kind of like 1940s. And in Abstract Expressionism, there's really no clear subject matter. It's more about lines and shapes and colors and trying to convey uh, an emotion. So oftentimes when the artist was making a piece, they would um, be thinking about maybe how they're feeling at that time. And then the viewers might also feel something different when they look at the artwork. So there's um, no clear subject matter and it's not about being realistic. It's more about conveying and emotion through lines, shapes, colors, and forms. So today, you guys are going to be abstract expressionists, and we're gonna do a little intro activity. So, if you follow along with the PowerPoint, step one says to grab a blank piece of paper, a black marker, or colored pencils, or oil pastels. I'm gonna use oil pastels today because I want to later on paint and I like how uh, watercolor paints work with oil pastels because oil pastels show through watercolor paints. But if you don't have oil pastels, you could use a black marker. Okay, so step two says in the PowerPoint to draw four straight lines across the page. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, like this. Now it says draw two more lines that cross these ones, okay? Make sure that they cross the lines that you've just drawn. So I'm gonna draw two lines like this. So I've done four this way, two this way. Okay, moving on to step three. Step three says to draw five circles, okay? Anywhere on your paper that you want. They could be big circles, they could be small circles, okay? Now I've done four, and now I'm gonna do a fifth one over here. So I've got five circles. Okay, now step four says to draw, let's see here, two curved lines at the edge of the paper and end it up somewhere in the middle. So two curved lines that start at the edge and come to the middle. So I'm gonna start over here at the edge and I'm doing a curved line, like a wavy line. Okay, so it started at the edge right here and then it ended somewhere in the middle. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna start at the edge and I'm gonna end in the middle. So you can see here I started at this edge and then I ended in the middle. Okay, so that was step four. Now step five says to fill in three of the five circles. So you could choose to fill them in by painting or you could fill them in with marker or oil pastels or colored pencils. I'm going to fill them in with my oil pastels. So I'm going to start to color in three of the five circles, okay? And maybe I'm coloring in pieces of them, like sections of the circle, because they've got a lot of intersecting lines kind of happening all around them. So this one I'm gonna color in all purple down here, like that. And maybe I'll color in this one pink. Okay, in terms of my color choices, I'm really thinking about how I'm feeling today. I'm feeling pretty happy, so I'm picking some bright colors today, all right? And I wanna try and create um, a piece that has a lot of emotion and a lot of movement and rhythm. Okay, so I filled in three of the five circles. Oh wait, no, one, two, Great. Okay, I have to do a little bit more on this one. I'm gonna do it half green. Okay, like that. So I filled in three of the five circles. Now I'm moving on to the next step. Six, fill in four areas of your paper, however you choose. Okay, so four areas. So an area would be like this area, okay, or this area. So I'm gonna paint, actually. I'm gonna paint in four of the areas. Okay, so I'm gonna paint in this one with some purple. Okay, I'm using my watercolors right now. Okay, and this area I'll paint in with a little bit of blue. So I'm filling in four of the areas. 
Okay. And we'll do one more, maybe with some blue. There. Okay, I filled in three of the areas, and now I'm going to fill in this area with a nice green. Okay, and I'm kind of following my lines and staying inside the different sections that I've created. Okay, so now I've filled in four of the areas. One, two, three, four. And I'm moving on to step seven, which says to draw a pattern somewhere Draw a pattern somewhere on your paper. Okay, so draw a pattern. I could do a zigzag pattern. I'm gonna grab my oil pastel again, and I'm gonna do a zigzag pattern across my paper. There, a zigzag pattern. Okay, all right, now step eight says to draw a large oval next to the edge of your paper. Okay, so I'm going to draw an oval next to this edge. Okay, this is my oval. And now step nine says to draw a rectangle on the other edge of your paper. Okay, so over here I'm going to make a rectangle. Like that. All right, and now Step 10 says hide your first and last initials somewhere inside the piece. So my first initial is G. My last initial is D for Dalrymple. So I'm going to put a G down here. G. And I'm going to put a D somewhere else in the painting. Whee! So I've got my G and my D and I've hidden them in the painting, in, in the picture. Okay, and now the final step is to start to fill in the different sections with color. So you can see I've started here, okay, and I'm using watercolors today, but you could also use tempera. And what I'm doing is I'm picking colors to fill in the different sections, okay, of my abstract expressionist work of art. Okay, and once your paint dries, okay, once the whatever paint you chose to work with today, whether it's watercolor or tempera. Once it dries, then you can go back and you can do like splatters if you want, okay? On top, you could take a black marker and do some more line designs over top of the painting, okay? But remember, with abstract expressionism, it's not so much like hearts and smiley faces or tree shapes. It's really very abstract. So it's a lot of like shapes, um, that maybe um, don't represent something in real life necessarily, okay? So you're thinking very, very abstract for this assignment. We're doing lots of things with, with lines and color, okay, and emotions. And what you're trying to create, okay, is a piece that when somebody looks at it, they, they feel something, they feel something because of your line or your color choices. So really try to Kind of allow yourself to feel very free, okay, and uninhibited when you're creating this piece, okay, and to make sure you use lots of color to kind of fill the space. So here, now let's see what I can do. Look at that. All right, I've got some splatters on top, and I'm going to finish out by filling in my last few sections. Okay, I can't wait to see your abstract expressionisms.